Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Eddie. In my last video, I showed how I uh, melted down some pistons from an international diesel engine. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how I built that furnace, this furnace. Um, it's basically straightforward. I use two inch angle iron for the base, mounted on some wheels. I made the wheels pretty tall so I could get a a pan underneath there to catch any uh, any spills that I have there is a, a three-quarter inch hole drilled out at the bottom so if I did have any spills it, it'll it'll catch disregard this patch here originally I built this furnace to accept a four inch burner which was a oil waste burner which uh, I chose to go with the regular propane burner on this one that four inch burner um, I'll be showing that one in a future video which I'm building a 55 gallon furnace to melt aluminum wheels rims uh, without having to cut them down in pieces so uh, that'll be fun basically over here I drilled three holes and just welded a little T on there so I can adjust the burner length and position this is the burner that I use which um, I'll go into further detail how I built this one back to the furnace we have the pedal which will step on it and it'll open up the lid and it opens up free very easy to use let go of the pedal and it'll drop and how I built it was I took a rebar here onto a piece of steel angle and I used it as a pivot I got a little uh, washer in there which helps helps it pivot this is, uh, I believe this is, that's a one inch, one inch black pipe. This is three quarter inch. So I welded the, the one inch to the frame. This pipe extends all the way down. It makes contact with the pedal when you step on it. In turn, it pushes up on the lid. This is a flange. That's a plumbing floor flange. You can get this in Home Depot at four bucks. Uh, you can see this furnace didn't cost me much. The, the most expensive part of this furnace was the was the refractory cement. And again, it, you can build this in a lot of different ways. You, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I chose to use real refractory cement because I, I do plan to do a lot of melting and uh, casting so I wanted I wanted this furnace to last uh, there's a lot of people that use four part perlite and one part uh, furnace cement mix it all together and and I found that to crack and then you got to line the furnace and so I decided to go with the real stuff the refractory cement it'll last much longer and the, it'll get up to temperatures of 2550 degrees so I'll be able to melt aluminum brass I doubt I'll be doing steel but um, possibility is there I can do it um, so yeah getting back to this so this three-quarter inch pipe runs right into this one inch which I welded it to the body the flange is adjustable you can screw it down or up so it gets a nice flush fit to the base okay let me try to do this one-handed as you pull this up you'll see that it the three-quarter inch pipe runs up into here and I welded this closed so it pivots right there this this, this comes off of here um, so of course when you press the pedal let me try to do it 
it lifts the whole mechanism.